Hello and welcome to tutorial number four in the CB Auto Actions series. Um, somebody on the forum was asking, uh, on the professional forums on Jimlapolis, was asking how he could have a, uh, a number of integer fields that are used to track individual scores. Uh, and how can these fields be basically added up into a summary field? that is searchable in user lists and so on. So I started thinking about this. I mean, I already told the person that he could probably use CB Auto Actions, but I also offered to do a tutorial on this since it's a very good subject and it really illustrates a lot of uh, CB Auto Actions uh, functionalities. So in the process, I actually figured out two different ways to do this and I'll be showing both today. Uh, so let's start out with the use case. Basically, we've created three uh, integer fields, CB underscore score one, CB underscore score two, and CB score title. All three are integer fields. We have them in the additional info uh, tab here. So let's just go and look at each one initially. And we basically see that it's just a score one is the title of the first field. It's an integer field. We put it in the additional info tab. Uh, it's set not to show in registration. And users, it's not read only. Users can make changes here. And it's not required, so it can be empty. Uh, score two is actually the same exact settings. Now, the summary score here, the total score field, is again almost one-to-one -one the same. The only difference is we made it a read-only field here. So users can only read this. And we're basically relying on a CB auto action to actually keep this sum up to date. Okay, so we have this set up. If we go to a front-end user profile, let's just log in. We log out of Jennifer here and log in, for example, to uh, user one. So we have user one, his password, and if we go to, oops, sorry, I made a mistake. Let's try it again. User one. Okay, I guess something wrong here. Let's try user two. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Uh, da, da, da. New user, how's that? That looks better. Okay, so if we go to this new user profile here, and we'll see in the additional info tab, there are these three fields. Score one, score two, and total score. If we try and edit these field, this profile and go to the additional info tab, we'll see the three fields. The last one is grayed out because it's read only, empty. Okay, so now let's go to our, let's just cancel here and go to our CB auto actions area. Community builder, plugin management, and scrolling down here, see we've we've installed 6.1.1, actually a nightly release. That's the CI, it's continuous integration. That's the latest as of today. And we go and look in our auto actions. And I've actually created two of these already. One is a query-based method, and the other is the field method. So uh, both can be used. I mean, we can either directly manipulate the database or we can just use a number of field actions chained together. And both have some commonalities. And I'm just, I'm gonna be going, showing both of them actually. So let's go first of all to the field one. Now, <coughs> title is CB field sum, you can do anything you want here. CB field sum, field action method. And I have two triggers. I want to trigger this after a front-end profile update made 
by the user or a backend profile update made by a backend administrator. And there's a description here. It's a field type set for everybody. Now, one thing important is the conditions area. These conditions, the condition that I'm putting here actually uh, will be used in the other query method also. So it's good to understand what we're doing here. Uh, what we're doing here basically is we're chaining, uh, we're doing a single comparison. We're saying if the combined values of score one and score two before the update, that's what variable three means here, var three in front, before the update, is different from the same combined values after the update, then we execute whatever action we have here. And one thing you might notice here is these substitutions have a character after them. So we have bracket variable three, var three underscore cb underscore score one, close bracket, and then we have an exclamation mark followed by the score two. If we had a score three, we just add an exclamation mark var3 underscore cb score three here on the left side and the same similar thing on the right side. Now, what are we trying to do here? Let me just, I created a little doc that actually shows us what we're trying to do here. So basically, we're basically chaining these two scores and we're saying if the chained val the concatenated values of these two fields before update, that's what the var3 means, is not equal to the same concatenated values after update, then we basically execute the action, basically, to add the two fields. So here's an example. So if score 1, for example, is updated from 1 to 2, and score 2 is updated from 10 to 11 in the same profile update, then we basically, this comparison will basically be looking at one from the first field, followed by 10 from the second field, so it's 1, 10, not equal to two from the first field, 11 to the second field. So this works. If we're doing this update, this comparison is sufficient. But hold on a second. What if we're not doing, what if the update is something like score 1 is updated from 31 to 3 and score 2 from 3 to 15. Then we're basically comparing 315 to 315 and this will not uh, fire the trigger because 315 is equal to 315. That's not what we want. So that's why I've added this separator character. I'm using the exclamation mark. You can basically do whatever you want here. But if I put the exclamation mark between the left side here and the right side, then the previous failing, uh, uh, previous failing condition of 315 not equal to 315 becomes 31 exclamation mark 5 not equals to 3 exclamation mark 15. And that will fire the trigger. So that's why I'm using the exclamation mark. Enough of that. Okay, so basically this is how we chained the two values uh, to the condition. Now, going to the action here, we have basically chained three actions here. The reason is because we can't really uh, add values together and then move that addition, that sum, into a field. So we're basically doing it in three steps. Initially, no matter what this total score field is, I'm setting it to zero. Okay, but then Right after that, that's what this chain is. I mean, I'm doing right after that, the action. I'm setting the total score to whatever it was plus the value of the CB score field, CB score one field. And then I'm doing a, a third step. I'm again adding whatever this total score new value is now to CB score two. So I'm basically chaining this. I'm starting zero and then I'm adding the first score, I'm keeping a subtotal, and then I'm adding the second score, and that's the total result I want. 
and that's all there is to it okay and I'm just saving and close this and let's just go and actually test this it's published okay so I'm in the new user uh, profile that has nothing set for score one and score two let me do an edit an update here and let's just go to the additional info tab and change score one to three and score two to five and update the auto action should kick in and should have calculated hopefully correctly the additional info here three plus five equals eight there you have it and now you can just let users update their score one and score two fields as they want and you're automatically calculating the total that you can use uh, in user lists for searching for example uh, or anywhere else you want now i mentioned that there's a second way of doing it the query field let's just go through that i haven't published this i mean we shouldn't really do both in parallel you can choose which one you want uh this basically basically this basically works uh the same conditions exactly the same conditions and the action is basically a single query field which is basically saying update the actual comp profiler table and set the cb underscore score total field equals to basically score one and score two uh, taking into account that these might be null and if they're null use zero instead of a null character and you do this for the users basically that's firing that the profile is uh, being updated on now you can study uh, mysql syntax to understand exactly what this means uh, but this will actually do the same thing so you can basically choose which one you want to use and both are valid and both should work thanks for listening hope you enjoyed this see you again soon bye bye